you have waves, you have various paths to move on. So like uh, that also in Python we have something three kind of ways where we can go. That is if, else, and lf three kind of basically right. So else is uh, something which you go when there is the two way block. That is the very first one you go with the if, then you go with the lf for checking the next conditions. And like if you uh, have no conditions matching up, then you go obviously with the else. Okay, so these are the things. So like uh, just taking up very small programs and then like we'll have questions, okay? So uh, let's say that name, uh, if we are taking something and input as a name. So let's say like name is equal to something. Okay, uh, let's take it. I'm writing my name, okay? Just a second, who's there? Um, see. Okay. Hmm. Nice. All right. So let's say this is my name, right? And I'm writing my password. Okay. That will be P A double S. And I say it to be comment. Okay. All right. Now, like, if I want to say that, you remember the same thing, like, uh, what was that? Voice assistant, something like. That. Okay. So, like, if I want to say, I have to give my correct name as well as I have to give my, uh, you know, like the passwords to be same. Then only it is going to be something uh, unlocking my uh, device. Okay, so that can be done. Like if I say that I only want to see up my first name, that is only the first name. If it is there, if it is okay, then it's fine, right? So uh, how I'm going to write up those things? Like if my if uh, let's say user is trying to come in. Okay, let's say if I am trying to come in. So how are the process what are the process going on there in between right so user will definitely going to give a input enter name or speak out name whatever it is okay so if the user and um, one more thing the split will do it there right or if you don't require i'm just going to say right uh, for now i'm just going to use my only the first name right so here i'll say if the user is equal equals to the name dot split sorry uh we'll see what is split how it works okay further one so uh name dot split if it is such all right and this is name dot split of uh, i think zero yeah so if it is such then we'll say user password okay input enter password that will be taken and now if the uh, u pass is equal equals to the password given by the user if it is equal you just welcome that uh, welcome but that's it okay that's all right or else you will print input wrong invalid that is fine input invalid or else just here you write print mm, what is that name ah input invalid same for both of the things okay let's run this so entering the name so i got this right and my password is let me see comment so i got welcome now let's Sir, say, yeah you you have printed it input is valid double time yeah because this is for one what? if else and this is for the second one okay first and second okay okay 
So you understood what I did here, right? Name dot split and all. So basically, what is my user? If you look onto my user, what is the user? The user is Sumit. Only Sumit. Okay, because I have entered that. And if I say name dot split, so what is that name dot split? These are the basic methods, basically um, useful in various ways. Aim dot split gives you Sumit, Kumar, Shukla for the different three sub strings. And if I say this of zero, obviously that means only the first one. And that is being what I have done there. It's comparing. Okay. Simple things. Okay. Who is there? <laughs> okay. Cool. Let's proceed. So, like you can have uh, different questions like uh, uh, checking the uh, greater and lower of any number, greater than, lower than, and all. Okay, so else and it can be taken in various ways. Uh, like if we ask up, like uh, uh, to make a program whether a student is eligible to sit in an examination or not. So in that case, how we are going to see? Uh, first, we are going to uh, calculate. <coughs> sorry. First, or first we are going to take up the input from the user that uh, how many classes are going to held up throughout the years, and then how many classes are the user attending, right? And then we can easily check the percentage, and then you can set your cutoff percentage or the threshold percentage, and then you can say. He is eligible, she is eligible or not. Okay. Now, how to identify whether whatever the character you are writing is a uh, string or like uh, is a alphabet, is a digit or is a special character, something like that. How we are going to identify? What the question, right? Like if I am writing A, it should print that this is an alphabet. If I am writing uh, uh, like a uh, percentile modulus it should say it, should, it is a special character right so how this is going to be done right so for that we'll make a program simple program let's say character if i'm taking as so i'm making it as c h a r a c uh, or c h a r c particular okay so i'm just taking as an input enter character just simple okay the next step would be to check up whether uh, or to set up a limit that if this is coming between this and this so what exactly we are going to do right like that so we will write that if the okay let me make it a small one ch okay otherwise it is like problematic one so ch is greater than equals to a okay and the ch is less than equals to z that should be my first uh, you can say uh, criteria to see on right that is if my character is greater than or equals to a and if my character is less than or equals to z okay now the user can also give a capital case right a capital case can be given by the user so what you can do is you can directly change this to lower so whatever the user gives you don't have to much carry on otherwise you will have to write again or this this is equals to capital A and this so one more conditions you have will have to write something like this uh, like or and will paste here then will make capital A then will make capital Z and also I'm not going to do that okay let's see if it works accordingly like this obviously it worked, right so uh, if this goes on then what you are going to print is a character C H A R S C character is equals to alphabet right uh, basically alphabet and character can be uh, like uh, you can give character ch okay like this character ch is equals to an alphabet 
Okay. Like this, I'll just make a copy of this. Copy, yeah. Next, we can say that. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Yeah. So, LF. So, LF of we can say CH greater than equals to what should be taken? Uh, zero. Yeah. Zero. Because everything would be in string. So, zero and ch less than equals to 9 other than this what you will write 19 20 30 40 anything everything comes between the 0 and 9 so we'll make it lf the second condition as such and we'll print is in equals to why it is there it's just a great tab why lf is it so okay fine let it be so this is going to be a number or digit whatever you say number is looking good or else only the last thing is left is that hmm. i think it should be kept here this no issues yeah. so else the last one or it goes on you if you want to make it a f and all you can make it right so apart from this is there anything left out in your keyboard uh, apart from this everything what comes is the uh, the special right everything whatever comes is the special characters so we'll just write special character okay okay let's have a test on this let's see if it works it's nice or otherwise you'll have to give all the conditions okay someone is there yeah fine so let's run this enter character let's say if i'm writing a capital g oh no not like this capital g ah uh, yeah okay so character g c uh, i'm writing a capital g but i'm getting a small g right and that depends on you if you want to make a uh, one more area for that you can make it okay. so uh, character g is equals to an alphabet if you write something like this you will get an alphabet because all that comes between a range of a to z obviously okay so the same if i am going to do with this number let's see some numbers and that's a number okay fine and if it is a special character like this special characters okay so like this you can use up with a lot of things okay fine so i believe that things are clear let's go to next topic which is loops today we have to complete other things okay now uh, loops are something which we call as iterations is this clear to everyone having any doubts in this section no, sir. Uh, yes and we can also use uh, is lm and is numeric as well, sir. Sorry? Is lm and is numeric is to predefined function for the strings. If it is alphabet, then yeah. it will see that. Using, using alphanumeric and all that for the strings method you are asking. Yes, sir. You can take it like uh, that can be taken. Alphanumeric. Uh, yeah, but. Uh, like let's say that if it is something what you are going to define this as this will be as alpha so should i write it as a l is alpha hmm. alpha hmm. then it will be done right yeah yeah okay that is true so uh, if we leave it as a special character if it is something like this then hmm. so like you want to try with the alpha memory for giving up the range like if it is true then this and this 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 okay so is if it is a number then we can say digit is num number is num is num searching something like this hmm or going with s digit 
so we don't don't go with the numbers as digit it is someone is there uh, okay okay like if you if you are saying as oh that's all oh sorry so it's a digit okay so functions cannot uh, can be used sorry cannot no it can be used right so but if you are not working with the functions then there is an alternative method you can go with this also but that's too okay all right okay next so i was in the loop so once again let me make it uh, upwards go upwards So in loops, so we have two kinds. One is called as your for, and then you have while. Okay, so uh, let's do with some kind of questions with the loops. Okay, uh, so let's say that if I have a number which is equals to one, like for now, uh, so I'm just doing the basics. So I'm not going with the brief. Okay. If I say in the while what happens unless and until your conditions are true you go for the iterating on the on your program or the execution whatever you need okay so while the number is greater than five oh sorry less than five okay I say while the number is going to be greater than five uh, we are going to print You can say we are going to print first the number and then we'll say first like number and then you can define hello at the same time it as okay and then what finally you have to do is you have to initialize the number or you have to increment basically so like this by one okay and let's print this so one hello two hello three hello four hello right so after that four is less than five will be done right now uh, cases can be there like uh, if you want to break you know like uh, at any point of your program what you can do is you can just apply something like let me copy this like if i want to break at uh, three okay so i am going to write that after printing this if my number is equal equals to three just break it if it is not then again uh, increment the things and go ahead working accordingly right uh, let's run this see it break at three now if i want that i don't need to break at three i want to skip the three for that we need that call as uh, continue right so we can just print here and then we can just write that if you don't want this like initializations are to be done so uh, here you have to first check up first of all right that is if first conditions that if the number you want is equal equals to three then you are going to continue or else you keep on printing up your things and you keep on incrementing and let's run this so uh, you can see oh okay okay one second one second we have made a mistake this is not good in here. oops 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 that is being pasted paste 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 oh no Okay, I have to write it again. Alright, let's make it zero and uh, let's make it like number. Let's see what's one. Let's say okay. number 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 done. Printing has been done. So printing uh, let's take the printing below. After this, or else, print initialization remove line number one a second while or number initializations, and this should be continued. So let's run this. Hmm. 
Why is it taking time? It should not take time much. Number is equals to zero while n is less than five. The incrementation has been given. If it is equal equals to three, I want to continue. Then what's the problem? Let me stop and rerun it. Rerun. Run again. Yeah. So one, two, three has been skipped and like that the loops go on. Okay. Like this. Okay. So let's come to a topic of a string. Okay, now what are the functions in the string guys? I'm not going to go in detail with all the functions. What are the functions in the strings you have? Can you name? String length. String length. Okay, length. Let's see. Next. String cat. String cat. I'm asking what the functions. Functions like I see lower, upper. Lower, upper. Yeah, one, one. One, lower. Capitalize. Upper, capitalize. Capitalize. Let's see how many you remember. Yeah, next. Good, sir. Mm -hmm. Digit, okay. We did something, sir. Digit, alpha, num, right now, this. Yeah, after then. Concatenation. Say it. Concatenation. That is not a function. That is a method. We do. Yeah, next. It's a skill. Split, yeah, okay. Hmm. Only these must function. Lower and upper. Uh, that has been done. Next. Split function. Okay. Is space, digit, space. Is digit is lower, is upper? Uh, space, space. Yeah, that is done. Space. Space. Okay. Join. Join. Hmm. Replace Z fill. Replace Z fill. Okay, see. So I think one, two, three, six, eight, nine, ten. Almost eleven functions you have remembered. See guys, let's remove all this, right? So, all the functions are just printing up in one line. These are the functions. Right? All what comes under the directory of the string. Right? The class contains directory, documentations, everything. If you want to see the documentation, you can go with the documentation event. Okay, so we have capitalized case fold center count and code end with expand tabs find format format map and a lot are there right so you can go with any one like finding the help and then exploring the things and that would work okay so it's easy uh, I'm making you just uh, some of the things to be see there right how we are going to go with that. Let's say that a user is trying to uh, upload something on the internet, right? Like what you do in uh, when you upload something on Google Drive or somewhere on the internet, right? Like let's say a college says to upload your resume uh, uh, and in the format of PDF or DOC kind of things, okay? But you are you are uploading in the kind of HTML something or you're giving a website link. So should that work or it should not work or what are the things how these are going to be done? 
those things right so how it can be done so uh, let's say that you have a list of methods or file what you can take that is you can take a pdf file and you can take a doc file if there is an upgraded version docx file okay so these are the files what you can take right now okay one second someone has got four ones uh, yeah so pdf doc and docx that is fine now the user need to upload something let's say user a uh, file name of the user f u uh, f u s e r i'm right okay so file name of the user for now now user is going to give you an input we will be using string methods enter file name with extension okay so the user will give you the file name with the extension okay now what you have to do is you have to separate the file name and the extension what he writes what he write there okay and then you can just take it as the extension one and compare it with your files and that can be like uh, giving as a result to you so whatever you get here you just split it with the dots okay and then if the f user of the minus 1 you got it getting my points f user of minus 1 okay is e or in file let's say in file if f user of minus 1 lies in the file then you will say uploading successful or just simple file error okay so let's load this let's say if i'm uploading a resume in a ppt version pptx file error if I'm uploading something in uh, let's say, let's say, let's say mm, okay. PXP file error. Same thing I'm doing with the PDF successful. Something dot whoa. So that is uploading successful. Okay. So getting my points, what we are trying to do. Like you now, let's say that if you are searching for a Gmail domains and all, then what you are going to do is you will be taking an email ID kind of okay. So that would be like let's say for uh, I'm writing my email ID. So Now, uh, how can you separate the username from this or how can you separate that from which email domain belongs to this user? So you can make it like just split the terms by at the rate and then bring like if you want user you write 0 if you want the domain you write minus 1 and you will get the results. So domain is gmail.com and if you want the username that belongs to this okay let's see i think things are fine now right same goes with the list with the tuples with the sets with the dictionaries and a lot of things okay so let's go to the list now same goes with the list too guys okay when we go with the list the same uh, goes here too like uh, let me write the methods i'm taking it 
Excuse me, sir, I have a doubt. Yes, sure, ask. Uh, sir, uh, for the um, latter name, you are using minus one as index. For but the, for if the... If we go and count, then we can use uh, zero ke baad, like one other. So maybe we can use one also instead of minus one. Yeah, but like if you want to use as one, you can make it. It is also fine. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I was at list. So at list, like, uh, what are the methods again? It's fine, easy. Directory or list. All these are the methods. Append, clear, copy, count, extend, index, insert, pop, remove, reverse, and sorting. Okay, now uh, I think you all know these functions, right? So I'm just asking the use and what it does. So anyone tell me what append does? One who will tell? Append uh, add, 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 add something, right? Where it adds? At the end of the list, okay. last index. Last index. What extend does? Yeah, yeah. What extend does? Append works is adding. Same goes with the extend. Okay, now you will be googling there. No, I don't extend. Sir. Extend is simple, right? You see, if you have a list. Let's say one, two, three. Okay, one second. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, X, I, J. Let's make a list of all these. Okay. Uh, X is equal to this dot split. And so this is my X. Oh, sorry. It's capital X. Should be small. One second, guys. One second. So it's going up there. Games. Reading zones. T1 as the. Uh, Fourteen and twelve. Then. Where is a key? Three nine. Hmm. So this is the list. Okay. Now, like, if you want to add something, what you do is that something happened and uh, sorry, that's E and D. Append of uh, let's say I'm adding K. So that's been done. Easy. Uh, but in the case of extend, what you do is append is something where you add you where you can add only one element, right? In extend, you can add multiple elements. Now, uh, students have doubts that, sir, what we do in extend is something x dot extend, okay? And then again, we make a list there, and then we say it's like l, m, something like this, okay? The same we can do also in this append method because it exactly takes one element, right? There also we are taking just one list, and then uh, in that we are writing multiple elements and then running up this. And then getting the output as see individual elements L and M. Okay. But in the case, guys, but if you use in the append, like x dot append, and you use the same thing L M. 
if you use this uh, like L and M here, right? So what is the error is going to be? No, so there is no such error basically, right? But the result you are going to get is something different from the previous one. Now you can see L and M as a sub list, a second list, right? So append actually adds one element. In extend you can add as many elements, but always in the append as well as in the extend, the elements are going to be added up in the end. That is the last. Okay. Got it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So both. Sir, in both the cases, it will show as a different list, like hmm. L and M. No, if you are using append, then it will be a different sub list, or if you are using extend, then there will be no list form. Thank you. Okay. okay. Next. So yeah, where were we? Extend done, append done. Yeah, what is clear? Uh, clear the item of the list. Mm. Copy. Make a copy and uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Fine, mm. fine. So uh all right. So when we have to delete something from our list, we use the very common method that is remove. Like you can write up the element name to remove it some like a x dot remove something. So I want to remove L. That's it. And I'll print my x later on. So I get there. L is has been removed. That is from here. See L has been removed. Okay. And I get LMM as further things. Okay. The next thing is like pop. Now what pop does? It automatically removes the last element from your list. Last element that means the very last. Now what is our last? The list LMM. We run this, the list will be eliminated. So that would be a cut off. And whatever the left is, this. These are being left. Alright, so all these are the things. There are various ways in the list to go on. Okay, let's go. So, uh, do you have any questions in the list? Right, you can sort, you can uh, reverse, you can do all those things. Okay, moving up. Next come the tuples. Tuple is something which is very, very, very uh, short because there is only two functions to discuss, the count and all this. Only, only two functions. How? See. So tuples and lists are same or different? No, these are different. Uh, these are different. Why? Because lists are something mutable and tuples are not. Mutable in the sense that uh, you can edit the elements like you see now uh, you can add you can remove of the things and you can let's yes. say uh, if we give index things 5 x of 5 if f if i say x of 5 if something is going to be replaced and i print the x you see the 5 is replaced but in the case when i make a tuple let's print first of all the things in tuple we have So how many of you knew the directory function? We should use this small functions to get the things. Oh, that is tough. So we only have count index. <laughs> That's the basic things. Okay. okay. So like we cannot display display the indexing. Like indexing can be done. Uh, like elements uh, at a particular index. Yeah, like uh, if I make y equals to a tuple of x, let's say. I'm making it as a tuple right now. Why? Uh, so let's say this is an. You can see tuple is in the first bracket. So, so y of five is okay, replace, right? But if I say y of five is equals to something like let's say integer, something like this, anything, r, re. So it, it will not be done. Why? Because you will get a type error. That means tuple object does okay, not support. You cannot make changes to tuple. Yeah, you cannot make changes 
once you okay. define something you cannot make changes okay so that is a drawback in the tuple okay so tuple is very less basically nothing to be described here let's go further you have oh, something called as hmm, what is that what is that set so let's come with the set uh, this is something having a large number of operations yes so add clear copy difference difference update discard intersection intersection update as is joined and all these things see the only basic thing is uh, the add works as the same what you did uh, what you did in the um, list right so if we go with the definitions of all these uh, we will just say that list is something uh, a collection of a data with heterogeneous data types it can hold basically the heterogeneous data types and are mutable okay in case of tuples we'll say collection of heterogeneous data types but not mutable in set we'll say collection of heterogeneous data types but the uh, what is that duplications yeah the duplications could not be done right that is elements could not be repeated like in a list you can repeat up elements like uh, you can make uh, a for three times you can make b for three times but in case of a set if you define once anything you are not going to define it further anymore uh, it, even if you define it it is going to be remain as a like one unique elements is there okay so sets are defined in the curly braces like this okay so let's say x is equals now to be as one, two, and three. Let's just say it as x is equals to one, two, and three. Okay. Now I would say that if I want to add four to this, right? So that is probably very easy, basically. So with x dot add four, working as the same of the disk. But again, you say x dot add four. No changes could be seen because 4 is present still. So these things make a change, right? Similarly, when we talk about the uh, extend in the list, similarly here we have something called as update. You see here in the last one, update. Okay. Update also works as the same like if you want multiple elements to join another set, you can make update. That can be done. Okay. Next, you have intersections difference and symmetric difference and discard, pop, all these as the removal methods. So, uh, let's say I make a two sets. One second, guys. I think I'm getting low brightness here. It's fine now. One, two, three, four, five, and three, four, five, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. Now remember the class 11 chapters and all in the mathematics. What is the common elements in the set A and also in the set B? Four and five. Very good. So common elements can be written as, what is that called as? Intersection? Intersection. Intersection. So A dot intersection of B. 4 and 5. Second option is A and B. Or you say B and A. Anything 
right intersections are intersections common elements are common elements all right moving next next is your something called as the difference element can you name what are the different elements in a with respect to b hmm. elements which are different one two three very good a minus b or a dot difference of b everything both things will be given if you write b union b okay uh, sorry what do you say a union b is done no union we didn't did right now union is something which combines all the values okay yeah like if you say union of b you get everything 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 Take with the set A and set B. The both things will be combined, and you'll be getting a combined value or an output of all the elements, basically. So, can we find the complement also? Uh, yeah, you can find the complement too. But the method of complement is we. Which complement do you want to find? A complement B. B, B. Complement of B. A complement B, right? A uh, complement of B. Complement of B. Okay, okay. Complement of B. Five numbers. Okay, one second. It can be done as. Intersection is something you will be getting in here. Okay. Okay, you can write it as a minus b of b minus a. A minus b. I think can be right as complement. I think would work just the best. If we get it something. Why? 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 It goes the ones complement. This is the sign of the complement. We'll have to look on. I think something sign will happen. Gene, one second. Just to see. Where is the sign? I think. Sir, on Google, it's written that it is represented by hash hyphen. Sorry. Hyphen. Yes, sir. Something like this. It was. Has it been changed to hyphen? It was a negation or something. Is it? That's a problem I'm getting there. I was trying. I was the first one. I was trying this, but there's something given with a negation. This sign. Oh, just a moment. So what if we subtract B from here? Subtract union? will give you the difference, and difference update is. Oh. 
wait one second one second sir uh, we can use for loop and then apply uh, hyphen on all the elements of that set mm -hmm. like we like you have done the uh, hyphen p then we the p is and set sir and the complement will be apply on a on a single digit sir. what will be the result of the complement of b c here what if, what will be the complement of b yes what is the result of complement of b but sir when we doing a complement uh, don't we need a universal set you can directly i think uh, that can be done like if it is uh, it's non element from hey, you can take this b minus a sir suppose we have a universal set s then we can take b. it s minus b i think mm -hmm. see like what what exactly complement tends like uh, let's say that if it y okay if it is having a numbers of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 let's say okay oh we need to move this yeah so if y is equals to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right like this right if i say that uh, from here i make a c and uh, like having it as 2 4 6 8 Then complement of C would be y minus c. Y minus c. Y minus c. Let me write a C O. Then what do you get the C O result? One three five seven. Yes. Sir. Or you can just say it as like yes, whatever the consist elements are there in the Y. the complement of c you are getting basically as the uncommon elements or sorry not the uncommon you can say or uh, you can say that the elements what are not present there right so if we discuss for the b you can just write it like uh, uh, what we have in the b is 4 5 6 7 and 8 okay for here we have 4 5 6 7 and 8 like this if we get a union of a and b what we got there It should be one, three, five, seven, or something. Six, seven, and eight. We are getting no. It does not. Ah, should not be there. Yeah, someone was suggesting something. You can say for loop. Sir, but in this case, we don't have a union set. Yeah, like in this case, we, set. yeah. Here we were having like this. We have made. You can make unions yes. like uh, you can make a union of all these like uh, a union b a union b, and then we can make something. Okay. Okay. Union can be made like see here we have all the collections of this all right. Then we have c, and then you can make uh, from here you can make b that is your four five six seven eight or something or like five six seven eight something like that right. Four five yes. six four five six seven eight it is right. Complement of B would be going in this side. Is it one, two, three? See, uh, it's B is okay. Uh, let's say this is going to be U. Okay, universal set. This is U. Right. This is my U, right? Yeah, B is four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so. B complement will be U minus B, like you did U in the previous one. Got it? You can make unions and then you yes. can try because in that case, in the very first one case, is there something like complete? That was a that what exactly was I was asking that what you want to find the complement because there is no union set. A and B. So you have to make union, and like if you have something set, and then you can make complements. Okay. So it goes something like this. Okay. So set are easy, and to be practiced up. The last 
data type we have there for this for the basics what we are going to deal up with that the last one is dictionary There you have clear copy from keys get items keys pop of items set default update and values and this works in the case of key value pairs here also likewise the sets you cannot make the keys duplicate you can make the values duplicate but not the keys so that goes here alike okay that oh that's wrong <laughs> that's bad okay so fine let's make it there x is equals to let me zoom in oh uh, yeah let's say if my key is a i made value one if my key is b i mean something is true if my key is c i mean something is true that is right right so what are the keys of my dictionary and what are the values of my dictionary these are the keys okay now you can even make it as like extra items to get the things respectively or accordingly you can see Alright, or you can apply for i in x dot keys. Like this, or i dot values. Oh, sorry. want everything to be printed up right or only of the keys and all so a b c okay so these can be worked on um, such things right so having any doubts till now or you have any doubts regarding any of the basics right till now whatever we have discussed so these are the functions of a dictionary these are the functions of a set these are the functions of a tuple these are the things of a and when you are working guys when you are working on any directory you should see on which directory you are working so that can be done with the import os option like get cwd gives you get the current working directory okay so run this and you get the result so where my current working directory is to get the things accordingly okay all right then i think that things are over with the basics tomorrow we'll start with simply